it's an incredible thing, you know, do you think about, especially, you know, we still seem to find our, ourselves in a time where, uh, unfortunately, these stories right. happen a time, time and time and time again. But to see you claiming a victory, claiming this victory on the AGT stage, right. uh, sang an Elton John song, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Why? That, why? Was, that was led by the Spirit of God. Everybody asked that question. I was given a variety of songs. Mm -hmm. His songs was put on the table, but it wasn't that particular song. Mm -hmm. But knowing his song and knowing his song, the song really touched me about my life anyway. You know, yeah. it reminded me of my life. And I, I am a fan of Elton John. Matter of fact, he called me the other day. But what? That was, yeah. He wait, me the other day. wait, RG, <laughs> wait. No, you're not about to just drop. Yeah, so Elton John called me the other day like it's a super casual thing. Oh, yeah, he's, he gave me an invitation to, to, to perform at his show when he come back to the United States. RG. Just because his, his words was, out of all the people that ever sung his song, that song there, he said he never heard it ever he said, I brought true meaning to it, even with him. He started crying at the time he was talking. I have to tell you, there, I'm a pretty, I, I like to tell, I'm a, I'm a pretty emotional person. Like, I can, I can cry at a commercial, right? <laughs> I'm just being honest with you, right? Like, if it's good, it got me. Yeah. There was something about knowing the the song hearing the song and hearing you sing it it took on a life of its own simon cowell even in the studio right in, exactly. in that theater said i've yeah. i will never ever hear this song elton this john thing. himself said the same thing <laughs> about his own song <laughs> That's deep. that is deep yeah, and wow. so so did you say? Did you accept the invitation to come perform with him when when shows? Yeah, I, I accepted it. Yeah, yeah, I accept it. Archie, we gonna be there. I don't care I where it is. It. I don't care when it is. We gonna be right there with you. I when heard you it, song, we'll be right there. You talk about being um, locked up for thirty-seven years. Is that right? Thirty-seven. Now, you you told you told Terry Cruz, the host of, of AGT, that your body was in prison, but your mind ne you never allowed your mind to go there. How did you do it? Prison is of the mind. It's all how we view life. It's all about how we accept what uh, our positions. Mm -hmm. It's all yeah. about how we, how we accept it here. You know, it reminds me of scripture in the Bible that say is is you know wars going on, wickedness and evil going on in high places. They're talking about the mind. Mm. It all depends on what you think here. So when they put me in there, I knew I was innocent. So I said, You might take my body, but you're not gonna take my mind. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take and I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to do what it takes to make it to that day to prove that I didn't commit this crime. And so for 37 years, for you... 37 years, all my bad habits, I went to throwing them on the side. And all the good habits, everything that meant me well up until this day. Wow. You were um, freed in... Uh, association with the work that the Innocence Project, uh, right, right, and there the work that the Innocence Project Innocence Project does. I mean, point blank, is it works to use the resources and technology that we have available to us today, right, to clear up and clear the names of of countless men and women right. who have been right. uh, wrongly, wrongly convicted. Mm -hmm. Right, did it mean something to you for? A man like Simon Cowell oh, it, to hear it, your it, story it, and then get involved with the Innocence right, Project? Right, trust me, because uh, that's what I'm trying to start right now. I'm trying to start a program where guys with, you know, cases like mine that wasn't any evidence there, 
you know, silent support is going to help that 100% or more, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that would, that's, that's a big help. That is the, the biggest help yeah. that the Innocent Project can ever, that anybody in the United States can have, is the support of Brit, Britain. Mm-hmm. Those are Britain. And yeah. they're really supporting, they're really serious about supporting the Innocent Project because those people never really knew about this kind of stuff until I came on the scene. They right. heard about it, but they but professional is somewhere else, you see. Mm-hmm. And this came before them, That's it, it's a mind blower. It, yeah. They living right here up under them and didn't know it was existing. Right. So that's why they want to make it known. Because people, you know, people have hard. What? So how do you tell me this? You brought the whole theater to his feet with an Elton John song. How wow. do you top it? Huh? I said, how do you top that? I, I don't know, man. I was like, it reminded me of Whitney Houston and Dolly Parton. <laughs> it did. It really did. You know. Did it? Yeah, it did. And I told my I told my little aunt and my little cousin that I was that particular song and I I told him dog gonna use that song to touch people with. I just mm-hmm. knew it by faith. It was like a faith song, you know? Mm-hmm. It was, you know, contained to my life. I love but it. It was more, so- more of God's choice, really, I think. 